Hi, I'm Mary West from Engineering, and I am going to be showing you the Pi Retrocade, which is an all-in-one, one-player gaming accessories kit for Raspberry Pi. Before getting started, you're going to need a couple of tools. You're going to need a wire stripper with a pair of crimpers, and a just regular screwdriver, and you need a Raspberry Pi. In the kit, you're going to find one micro SD card with Porta Pi Arcade preloaded, one joystick, five arcade buttons, a utility knife, 20 female quick disconnects, 20 male to female jumper wires, and a set of four nuts and screws for securing your Raspberry Pi to the box. On the top of the box, you'll notice a sticker that has the blueprints for creating your retro gaming console. Cut the holes out along dotted lines where it tells you to cut using the utility knife provided. Once your holes are cut, remove the switches from all the buttons and drop the buttons in the holes. Unscrew the red ball from the top of the joystick and remove the washer type thing. Unscrew the four screws that hold the mounting plate and attach the joystick to the box. When you find a permanent solution for your arcade, the plate will need to be under the enclosure and will need to be fastened using these through holes. Next, you'll need to create the wiring harnesses. You'll need two ground daisy chains, one for the buttons and one for the joystick. Then you'll need nine individual wiring harnesses for each direction on the joystick and the five buttons. Now attach your wiring harnesses. In the tutorial, you'll see a pinout diagram for the GPIO. Each end of the wiring harness correlates to a pin on the Raspberry Pi GPIO. You'll find that mapping in the tutorial. With your Raspberry Pi in the box, attach an HDMI cable to a monitor and plug in power. You'll immediately see a screen which you can easily navigate through the menus using the controller that you just built. And now that you've built your retro gaming console, it's time to play. Now, uh, don't leave me alone. <laughs> 